My name is Matt Eisenbarger. I'm the CEO of the drone team here at FreeFly Systems. And today we're talking with Autirian at our headquarters in Woodenville, Washington. So over the last decade, FreeFly has used several different autopilots and flight controllers for our drones, and we've even created our own flight controller called the Synapse at one point in time. But we decided after evaluating everything available in the market that working with Autirian was going to be our best path forward. The first thing that we did with Astro was use the Autirian Skynode reference design, which is the flight controller. And that helped us accelerate our development in terms of hardware and software. And that's really the brains of, of the uh, drone itself. Part of the additional capabilities that are baked into Skynode are the onboard mission computer, which really allows anyone to put on a Docker file and add all kinds of capabilities that we have never thought of or dreamed of yet. There's also LTE connectivity baked in, so every aircraft can automatically connect to cellular service and get real-time updates, stream real-time video back to the Autarian suite for anyone with access anywhere in the world to, to view that video and telemetry. FreeFly and Autirian have been working together for the last couple of years to really set new standards across the drone industry. By setting these open standards and by us OEMs complying with those standards really is an incredibly powerful way to expand each individual company's own ecosystem and increase that interoperability between different companies who normally would never collaborate and their engineers would never talk. But because they've adopted these open standards, their products now work with other companies' products. So one example of that standard that we have included when working with Autirian was the PixHawk payload bus standard. And what that standard does is allow anyone to add that mechanical and electrical interface to their payload or their gimbal and it then becomes plug and play on our aircraft or anyone else's aircraft who also adopts that standard. I think one of the things that Autirian really has helped us with at FreeFly in accelerating our development is wrangling all the cats, if you will, in the open source community. There's a lot of duplication and effort across the industry. A lot of folks are working on flight controllers. A lot of companies are working on different standards that may or may not be interoperable. Um, but what Autirian is doing is really bringing all of these disparate OEMs together and helping them accelerate that development so that they can move that much faster and not waste their time on things that have already been developed or, or somebody else is already working on. And there's so much opportunity that I'm really not looking at this as competition. I encourage other OEMs to go work with Autirian and partner with us on this open source journey so that we can all work together and move faster. A rising tide lifts all boats and we can certainly see enough opportunity for everyone uh, to join uh, this partnership and work together so that we can move the whole industry forward.